how many of you love traveling with dresses? So if you love wearing dresses when you're traveling, leave me a comment below. And while you're at it, make sure you like the video too. And I'm gonna show you exactly how a dress like this, a non-convertible dress, can be super versatile. So these tips are gonna allow you to go into your closet right now, later today or this weekend, and find out exactly if you have any dresses that can also be so versatile like this. Um, you know, we may not have to buy something new. We don't always have to spend a ton of money on shopping for a whole new travel wardrobe. It'll, all you need to do is use some of these tips to get creative with the stuff that you already own. So let's get started. Now, the cool thing about wearing a dress like this is I love whether it's a dress or a shirt that's buttoned down. Um, I love it because it gives you so much more versatility. Now this one isn't a full button down as you could see, but if it was, then you can wear it, um, you can wear it open, you can wear it closed, you can wear it in various ways. Now this one's great because it's a good length for me, it's a short dress, it's not too long, it's probably um, to the middle of my, to the middle of my thighs, um, and I can actually wear it on its own when it's nice, when it's a nice warm day. Um, I can wear it on its own. If the weather drops slightly, ever so slightly, I can just easily put a light layer, wear a light layer like this one inside that keeps me just a little bit, um, a little bit warmer. So, ooh. <laughs> so you could just wear a light layer like this inside of it. Now, the great thing about having a classic basic tee like this is that you can actually wear it alone. So on days that the, the weather is warmer, you can wear uh, maybe a classic shirt with your jeans and then um, on other days you can wear a dress alone or then you can wear them um, layered together. Now let's say the weather is a little bit colder. So that's when you want to use a warmer option, like a turtleneck, classic tees. So just a, an easy crew neck with a short sleeve that's a little bit longer, so it's not completely, so you're not completely showing all of your arms, but it's not that short, um, short as well. Then I also have the black one. I think pieces like this, whether it's with a Dea or another brand are absolutely essential for any travel wardrobe. Now, I'm not talking about your average Hanes logo tee. Like, this is the, having a couple of really good quality tees that you can wear anytime, you can layer them with everything or wear them on your own, that's absolutely essential. In cooler weather, all you have to do is layer a warmer top like this one inside of the dress. So maybe I should take it off the hanger so I can actually get it inside. Um, so pop it in like that. So now you've got a bit of a, you've got a layered dress. It's a little bit warmer. The, the sleeves will go on the outside. Now, what about your legs? So with dresses, the easiest way to warm up your legs, and this takes up no space, are a pair of tights. I love gray cable knit tights because I find them super versatile. They're really inexpensive. These aren't anything special. They're just a regular synthetic material. And you can basically buy them anywhere inexpensively and wear them, um, I'll take that out, and wear them with paired underneath your dress to add a little bit of extra warmth. Um, if that's a bit too thick, then you can also just wear regular tights, just, you know, regular black tights. And that'll make, that'll easily transition your dress for, from a warmer climate to a cooler climate without packing a bunch of heavy items. So you won't have to pack, pack a bunch of things just in case for the weather. You've got various options just with one piece. Another option is that you can actually also take a warmer cardigan or a crew neck sweater and then wear it over the dress. So now if it's, if it's a mild, it's mild weather, you just throw on a cardigan and now it looks like a skirt. And actually, I'm not a major um, fan of skirts for some reason, but they're, so, they're such an awesome piece for travel. So what, um, this is a great option because it all of a sudden transforms my dress into a skirt. And if it's really cold, or if it's colder, then I can just add 
the turtleneck, underneath the dress, then underneath the, the cardigan. Um, so that way you've got extra warmth. Throw in the leggings, and if you really need to, throw in a couple pairs of tights. So that way you're prepared for everything. Don't forget your accessories. Um, you know, just a basic black belt, something that you'd wear with your, um, you know, this is one of my favorite belts currently. So you could just put that tied around your waist. Not only does that add a little bit of style to any dress, but it also helps you accentuate your waist. Um, and, the, and you can use this trick with dresses that do have a defined waist like this one, or ones that are a bit more, um, that are a bit more just roomy like this. So I love wearing this dress either alone or to make it um, a little bit more feminine and even flirty, then I just tie this around the, the waist area. So that's it, even another look. So that's, that's awesome. I'm totally loving this dress. Don't forget accessories. And of course, if you do have a basic black dress and you're traveling in cooler climates, you don't want to forget accessories. Try to choose a scarf that's a different color. That way you get, um, you can breathe some life into the outfit. And this is really where you're taking your neutral pieces from the travel wardrobe and giving them some life. So instead of having an all black boring wardrobe, you're wearing things, um, if you do have some neutrals, make sure that you're pairing them with bright colors to make them pop. Taking it back to basics is wearing fabrics that are phenomenal for cold weather. So merino wool, as you know, is, if you're a travel fashion girl reader, um, it's fantastic for the weather because it packs light, it's a natural fabric that keeps you warm, and um, you can rewear it several times without washing, which is one of the secret tricks to packing lighter on longer trips. This is a great, so this is a great piece, so it's a tunic. It's a tunic shirt, it's long, and you can easily pair it um, wear it on its own with some tights and a slip dress underneath, for example. Something like this. Wear it underneath, pair it as a dress. Um, and then the other option would be as the weather changes, throw some leggings underneath, wear, wear it comfortably. Another option that I actually do like, and this might be a good option for business travelers that are looking for ways to diversify their um, your travel wardrobe is to then throw it on over your basic black dress for a different look, and you can wear that open just like that, like a light, um, like a light jacket, just a little light overcoat. If you wanted to, you could put a belt around it, or if you just want to have the same look of this dress but wear it, um, wear it warmer. All you have to do is button it up, and then. Um, then you have a little bit of extra layer. So dresses are absolutely fantastic for travel. That's the one benefit, well, an extra benefit female travelers have is that we get to wear dresses and they really are easy to, to layer. Thank you for sharing a bit of your day with me and letting me give you some packing tips. Um, this has been Alex with TravelFashionGirl.com. Safe and stylish travels.